Why is you taking pictures of me? You don't take no picture of me. I want press charges against you. We're gonna confiscate your camera if you take a picture. Okay, this gentleman just opened the window and said, you can't be recording, man. So we'll see what comes above this. What's private property? Fence that you're on, sir. That side. Go across the street. I'll take pictures across the street. This is public property, sir. Outside, sir. I am outside. This is public property. No, it's not. All these signs up and down the street, they were put in by the city. This is public property. It's not put in by the city. Oh, really? No, sir. You got the property lines on you? This is publicly maintained. All these uh, drinks from fast food restaurants and the cigarettes and stuff you're telling me, Pete, this isn't public access? It's not. Yes, it is. No, I'm not gonna argue with you, sir. No. You see these poles? They're public utilities. They were put in by the city. Side of the gate, you'll be all right. You understand what I'm saying? I understand you perfectly. All right. Do you understand? Do not come. Please do not come on this side of the gate. I have. Please do not try to intimidate the guard. She's a woman. All right. Can you please do that, sir? Yes, sir. Okay. So you acknowledge the fact that I have the right to stand here and take pictures and video, correct? Okay, the gentleman inside the booth, he said this was private property. He lied to me. On this side is private, so where you stand, if you're standing there, it's the property, yes. That street is public, you know that. Well, yes, I know that, but the gentleman in the booth said that I, that I was standing right here on private property, 
and told me to go across the street. So he is misinformed and or lying to the public. Okay, but me and you know that what I'm saying, right? And I'm just asking you friendly and nicely, if, because it's intimidating for you to sit there with a camera for some people, you know what I'm saying? And I'm just asking you nicely, because I feel you're a nice person. If you, it makes them uncomfortable to be felt. So can you please respect that? Honestly, I mean, unless you just want to sit here and harass someone, I don't see why you would do it. If someone asked you to please not film them, why wouldn't you just go film something else? Well, sir, you just told me that it would be all right if I filmed here, and now you're telling me not to do it. I don't understand. I'm telling you that some people don't like to be filmed. You should ask someone if they want to be filmed, if you want to be polite. I mean, that's what I would do. I mean, how would you like it if someone put a camera in your face to start filming you? This camera is nowhere near your face, sir. No, but you're pointing it at people. Hey, what's up? You mean like all the security cameras you have around here? You mean like all the security cameras on light posts? You mean like all the security cameras mounted on the sides of businesses? You mean the thousands of security cameras that record us every day? Yet if a person holds a camera, they get nervous. That makes no sense whatsoever, sir. See, what I'm saying is the government is going to do what they're going to do, right? Well, so will private business. Okay. You're, this is a private terminal. You've got cameras all around here. So it's okay for you to record, but it's not okay for me to record? I'm sorry? Anarchy, you an anarchist, I understand. I'm not an anarchist, you want, sir. You want trouble, you want to cause problems. We're not the ones pointing cameras, it's our employers. Okay, but we have a job to do, and you make people uncomfortable by pointing a camera at them. And I'm just asking you as a citizen to please not do that. And you seem to enjoy it, so if, if you get off on trying to intimidate people with your bully, and that's who you are, so be it. That's fine with me, it doesn't bother me. First of all, let you know, but it bothers a young lady who's in a booth doing her job. And I think that that's pretty chicken shit to try to intimidate a woman. To me, that's not a man. You seem to enjoy trying to intimidate people with your camera. That's like a bully to me. And I don't like bullies, you know? And I'm entitled to feel the way I feel. Absolutely. You, you, get, you get satisfaction out of pointing a camera at someone and trying to intimidate them with it. It's like pointing a gun at someone. That's what you're doing. See, some people take it that way. It can be pointing a camera is like pointing a gun. That's preposterous, sir. That's absolutely preposterous. No, it's not. How do we know you're not some fucking terrorist or some murderer? How do I know you're not? How do we know who, who you are? You don't. You yeah, okay. So how would you like someone to point a camera at you that doesn't tell you who they are, that just points in front of your house at you? Or, where, or your place of business where you work, follow you around with a camera? How they, would you like that? They you can do that. Sir. You wouldn't like it, but you want to do it to other people because you're an asshole. And I'll say that on camera. You're an asshole and you're acting like an asshole. And believe me, what goes around in this world comes around. Believe me, it does. I promise you that. I ask, you're, you're just acting like an asshole. Yeah, you are. You okay, are. fine. You can tell me I'm acting like an asshole. I don't have a problem with that. Yeah, but some people do. You know, I bet you wouldn't take that camera and go to West Oakland and point at somebody's walking up in their face because you know you'd probably get jumped on. But you do it here because you know we're not going to do any harm to you. But you get on, off on the satisfaction of trying to intimidate somebody. Once you go to 3rd Street in San Francisco, go point that at somebody. See what they do to you. I, you know it's not I've had federal police called on me in San Francisco, sir. Oh, so that's 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 terrible. I'm, I feel sorry for I'm you. Not, I don't expect you to feel sorry for me at all. I'm just telling you. I know what my rights are. Now, okay, so you're now if you an asshole, so you're gonna push the law all the way to the limit because you can. Are you familiar with California Civil Code Section three three four four? I'd be lying if I said I am. Okay. Would you like to know? I know if I ask you not to film me, I don't want to be on film. You can't film me. That didn't answer. Follow, that didn't answer my question. You to your place of business and film what you're doing. I'll sit here go, and focus you. Go right ahead. What if I decide to follow you? How would you like it? Asked and answered. Go ahead, okay. I will. I will then. I'll hang out until, until you leave, and then I'll, I'll wait for you to get in your car, wherever your car is, and I'll follow you. Go right ahead. And see how you like it. Go right ahead. And I'll stalk you like you're stalking the security guards here. Obviously. How would you like that? You know, people have families oh, and stuff Christ. like that. You, just, you don't seem to care. You get off. You get off of It's a camera, sir. It doesn't hurt people. It does hurt people. Bullshit. Yes, it does. Bullshit. Yeah, you're tough.
tough guy behind me. Oh, and you're a tough guy too. Tough guy Calling me all kinds of names. You don't even know me. Yeah. Well, I know that you're an asshole because you point the camera at a, a woman who asked you to stop. She never asked me to stop. That's a lie. Yes, she did. Yes, I got it did. on film. Yes, she did. I've got it on film. The security guard came over and asked you to stop. That was a male security guard. Workers, they work together. You made her uncomfortable. She you never asked me to stop. Sir. If she asked you. She did not ask me. You liar! You're, you're an asshole, dude. You know what? All you want me to do is put my hands on you, and I'm not going to do it. I will have. I will not do it. I will not do it. Good for you. Okay? Good I'm for not you. Ignorant, okay? I'm not ignorant. No, I you're arrogant. You I tell you what, there are people who are ignorant. Yes, I know that. You remember that, and you're one of them. Because all you're trying to do is get somebody to do something to you, and it won't happen here. It won't happen here. So you're not getting the show. Or you're not getting the satisfaction you're looking for. So I wish you would please leave. I mean, I don't know how much kinder to be. And After you call me all kinds of names, then you're going to tell me to please leave and tell me you're being kind. You've called me names too. You've called me names too in this conversation. It's on that table. After you told me, uh, after you called yes, me. Because I okay, sir, I'm not listening to you anymore because you obviously you just want to talk and you don't want to listen. That's so that's fine. fine. That's fine. But remember. No, you remember. You remember you're, you're a chicken shit asshole who thinks he can boss people around. Well, guess what? It doesn't work that way. I have the right to film in public and you'll be on YouTube. Guess what? You can guess film me all you want. I don't care. Guess what? Yeah, guess what? There are people that are just as much assholes as you are. A lot more so. You've got cameras all over the place recording people all day long, but if I have a camera, that's bad. You know what? The cameras are recording me on my job, and I don't care because I'm not going to do anything wrong, okay? I have nothing to hide, okay? So do I agree with these cameras on the pole for the job? No, I don't. I absolutely am against them, but I have to do my job, okay? And I respect what you know, freedom of speech, freedom of the film, whatever you want to do. I respect that. But when it comes to a point to where you're bothering somebody at their place of business and they're asking you not to film them. Sir, are you willing to listen? Okay, sir, I'll, I'll let you finish. I'm sorry, go right ahead. No, go ahead, go ahead, sir. Are you willing to listen to me for just a moment? Yes, sir. Okay. Will you please allow me to say something then? Please answer my question. I'm asking you very nicely, sir. Okay. Sir. Okay. As I was saying, when the gentleman approached me, and I'm gonna, this is like the third or fourth time I'm saying this. Okay. He told me that this was private property, which I believe it's not because you see those light poles over here. They're just like the light poles over there. They're nothing like the light poles over there. You see the signs over here. They weren't put in by the terminal. Now let me finish. I'm not done yet, okay? This is public property. And if it's not, it's a public easement through private property, meaning that I have the right to be here and film. Now, whether that's right or not, that's a different issue. Now, what I'm saying, let me finish, please, is that he told me this was private property, that I couldn't take pictures, and that I had to cross the street. Now, that's not true. The lady that she referred to, she never approached me. She never even spoke to me until just one a moment second, ago. Sir, one second. I got to call you back. All right, I'll call you back. Sorry, sir, it's my niece I had to answer. Go ahead. No problem at all. The lady that you referred to that spoke to me just a moment ago, she never spoke to me before then. She, she, no, let me finish, please. She never asked me to stop filming, and I've got it all on film, so I can prove that such is the case. Do you deny this? No, I don't. Okay. But what I, but what okay, let me finish, please. I, 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 I've been very patient listening to okay, you. Okay, right, now, right. now. So you claimed erroneously that she asked me to stop filming. That is not true. Okay. Okay. You Thank you for acknowledging that. I yes. appreciate it. Yes, I, I'm a truthful person. I don't have no reason to lie. Okay. Thank you for saying that. I appreciate that too. Okay. So, asking me not to film is one thing. Telling me that I cannot film, that I'm on private property and to cross the street is quite different. Therein lies the test. What I'm doing is called a First Amendment audit. Search it on the internet, you'll find thousands of them. Okay. Because there is a phenomenon in this society where people kind of lose it, for lack of a better way of putting it, 
when they have a camera pointed at them by a person. Despite the fact that there are cameras everywhere and you're recorded thousands of times a day, when a person has a camera, oh no, that's terrible. So what this is, is a test to see whether the people or the business and or the business in question respect the right of the public to film in public. Now they can ignore me, they can ask me to stop filming, they can lie to me like that guy did, they can do all kinds of things. I've got lots of examples. I filmed federal buildings, I filmed city halls, I filmed private businesses, I filmed fairgrounds, you name it. And the responses run the gamut. So that's what this is, sir. Whether people are intimidated is, is up to them. Okay, but I agree with you, sir. I, and you do have freedom of speech, freedom to film, all those things. But the reason I'm here and that gentleman came over here is because a young lady was intimidated and we got calls to, to come over. I mean, here's a gentleman in dark shades, a black jacket, dark blue jeans, pointing a camera through the fence. The terminal has maybe three or four employees on it. She felt uncomfortable. That's why we're here. And I know that I didn't tell you to leave. I didn't say you had to leave. I you did not. You. I, I acknowledge that, sir. Filming, and I asked you to leave. And, and it's not because I want you don't want, I want to take you where you're it's because I got customs coming. All right, brother. I got it. I got it. I got it. It's a nice place. You might know it's right. Okay, brother. Yeah. Appreciate it. All right. So all I'm doing is asking. I'm not telling. I'm not. I'm not getting a conversation confrontation with you. I'm just letting you know that what you're doing bothers someone, and we're not trying to take your rights away. At all. That's reasonable. And I thank you for saying that. And I'm glad that we've gotten to a point in this conversation where we're being more cordial with one another. We're not name calling. I apologize for calling you names. I apologize for calling you names. Thank you, sir. You know, I, I appreciate I, that. I didn't mean to belittle, be, try to belittle you or anything. But, you know, I was getting upset, but I calmed myself down. And that's what people need to do more of is conversate, talk, so that we can get an understanding and respect each other. But you have to understand that my first reaction is going to be to protect my coworkers because she felt uncomfortable, and that's why I came over. You know, I saw you at defense with a camera, and she's in there. I'm like, you know, it's got to be uncomfortable. This gate's open. You know, it's open. It's. A, I, I, I could have sworn that gate was just closed. It opens and shuts. Right, right. It opens when 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 an authorized car wants to leave or 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 come in, right? Yes, it does. Okay, so it's mostly closed, right? It's mostly closed all the time for security reasons. Okay, so so it's actually mostly closed. It's well, not it's not really open at this also moment. know that this is Marsac and all. Oh, someone's behind. Yeah, I saw the Marsac sign when I uh, when I was uh, what are you doing, guy? filming. Yeah. You should fuck off and get out of here. Got that? Please don't film me, man. You should piss off, motherfucker. Well, that's up to them. Why do you want that reaction out of people? It's a test. Okay, but Some people react different ways. You're very, you're pretty respectful, and that guy obviously isn't. That's okay. Because we're all co-workers, we protect each other. You know what I mean? You call what he did protecting people? Well, okay, I guess it's my daughter. Oh no. No problem. I don't feel it's okay for. Big brother to be looking down at people. I don't agree with that. Okay. Or recording people's phone messages or cell phones or home phone. I, I think they're getting too much into our personal lives, just like pointing a camera at someone who doesn't want to be on camera. And that's what I'm saying. See, at least with you, I can ask you to put the camera down. I can't ask the poll to put the camera down. Right. Agreed. You get what I'm saying to you? I do hear what you're saying. Some things, I can't fight the government by myself. It's going to take all of us. That's true. Cameras down. That's true. I can't ask you 
to please put the camera down and to please stop filming because it makes my coworkers and myself uncomfortable. And 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 I think I've been very uh, cordial. You've been cordial. We've had a conversation back and forth, a little name calling, out of anger, but we've gotten past that. And all uh, all I'm asking for you to do is to just you know with the things the world is going on in the world today, we got enough problems. We got bombs going off in Syria. We got all kind of things happening, and this doesn't make it better. It really doesn't. You know by pointing a camera at someone, it just causes confrontation, and you know that. You're an intelligent man. You're not, you're obviously an intelligent man. And Some people do, but a lot of people ignore me. But see, that's, but when someone feels uncomfortable, and you know it, and you continue to do it, I think that that is being rude. Okay. You know, that's just my opinion. I can, you know, and we're all entitled to it. But I think that, you know, you say it's a test. Well, you've been testing now for 30 minutes. Probably more. Yeah, okay. So what I'm saying is that, you know, you can test. You know, you've been down at 37. Now you've been here. You can test somewhere else. You know, you, you know that you got a reaction here. And, okay, that's... You can go home and evaluate your reaction and just move on. Just let people do their jobs. We're all trying to just do our jobs. That's it. You know, not have a confrontation with you. Not, I mean, I don't see what you're getting out of this. Okay, you say you're testing, you're running a test, you can go back. Okay, you've gotten your piece, 20, 30 minutes, an hour, however long. Now what do you want to do? Move on with my day. Okay. How long is your test? Well, as it's, long as you can aggravate someone, or as long as you can get someone here to engage with you in a conversation, every, is that your test? Every audit is different. It just depends on the situation, and, and you know, sometimes people ignore me, and I'll just move on, and other times people just say, what are you doing? And I say, I'm filming, and they say, okay, and I move on. Every, every situation is different. So, I, I mean, I, I do have other things to do today. I don't have all day to be here, but that's neither here nor there. Um, so, you know, I, I do have the time now and this is what I'm choosing to do. I mean, how long will I be here? I don't really know. You and I are having a pretty good conversation and I appreciate that. And I, and I, and I again apologize for, for cussing at you earlier. I apologize for cussing at you earlier. And, and, you know, I, I and, and, and this, is, this is the nature of the test right here. Talking to a reasonable person like you versus talking to a bully like what, who, was, who was just here. But he's, so, re he's really a nice guy. Nice people but, don't act that way. I'm sorry to say he really is a nice guy, but he sees something that he perceives. And, and this is something maybe for your test. Okay. Perception. Perception is reality. Yes. And, and part of perception, you say, is reality. It could be negative or positive. Sure. Right? Absolutely. So it depends on the person what they perceive. No pointing a camera at people is not always going to be received in a positive manner. That's correct. So you have to expect that every once in a while. Occasionally, sure. Now look at this. Here they come. In, here come the police now. No problem. We'll find out if it's public or private. Yeah, yeah. It didn't have to come to this. Uh, I'm not worried about the cops. I'm fine with police. Anyway, uh, if, 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 it's any, if it's worth anything to you at all, I have no ill will or intent. I don't, I don't want to come on the property. I don't want to cause anybody any harm. You know, do I want to film? Yeah. You know, is it a test? Yeah. People can have their own opinions about it. That's fine. And, you know, I, 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 uh, I, I want to thank you for engaging with me in this conversation. And if the police want to talk to me, that's fine, too. Um, that's, that's about all, sir. Why make the police come out? Why I didn't call them. I didn't make them come here. Did you know that people were uncomfortable with you here? They, they tried to explain to you that could you leave, right? Why go to that extent to say, well, I'm going to stay as long as I want to because I know they can't make me leave? Why, why go to that extent? Well, because it's a test. I want to see how people react. Why, why a test like that, sir? Why, why would you want to do that to yourself? I, I don't get that. I really don't. I mean, life is hard enough. Yeah, I get I, I get what you're saying. I really do. Life is hard enough. Can I try to answer that question? Yeah. Well, there are those of us that feel, and I'm one of them, that if you don't if you don't exercise your rights, not all of them all the time, but if you don't exercise your rights, 
you lose them. It's kind of like a muscle. If you don't exercise a muscle, it atrophies. It gets smaller. And the rights that we have didn't get there magically. People fought for them. People died for them. I mean, you're, you're a longshoreman. You belong to a union, right? Yeah. Think about all the people that uh, fought and, and, and were maimed and died when there was child labor and, and, and all the fights against the against the, the you know the city bosses that that were basically run by that, that were in bed with local governments and that, that were put down for for generations until finally you know companies like uh, like Ford had to uh, allow unions to be formed and, ha and and that resulted in in better wages and better working conditions and so forth it took a fight to do that so this is my fight I think that that we have that that, that you know the, the right to record in public is being eroded. I've been told on a number of occasions on a number of places you can't record here, and and that's just mis misrepresentation of law and civil rights and so forth. Asking me is one thing, telling me is another, and therein lies the test. There are a lot more important fights to fight out there rather than civil obedience. You know, there are more fights. I mean, I'm African American. Back in the day, there was slavery. Okay, if I hold a grudge forever, I'll never trust anybody, right? But I'm past that. Everybody shouldn't be judged by the past. It's about the future of today. I judge people how they treat me. I don't look at the past. I don't look at the future. I respect people. That's why, you know, I kind of lost it for a second. You lost it for a second. But we got past that because we were able to see that we're both decent people. And we're having a conversation. And, and we need to have more conversations. Yes, yeah. I hope out of this test that you're doing, that you find there are more good people on this earth than there are bad, in my opinion. I agree. I, when I was younger, I used to think differently. Yeah. But, you know, as, as I got older, I realized that most people are basically good. You know, you know I'm not going to lie to you. 20 some years ago, I used to do drugs and drink. I was an asshole. Okay? I was a total jerk. I've been clean this over 21 years. God and the AA. Alcoholics Anonymous saved my life. It made me a different person. 20 years ago, I'd have been over the fence wanting to fight you, but not no more. If I can't talk things out with you, then there's no more I can do. And I'm just trying to let you know that, hey, I see nothing wrong with what you're doing, but it make, it's making someone else uncomfortable. Could you please stop? That's all. That was the only message I had for you. That's fair enough, sir. Totally fine. You know, I've worked with this young lady 20 years, and, I, and, and if the other guy said something in a way that offended you, I'm sorry. You know what I mean? And he saw. It, I know, and I know now you're to the point where you just got to stay there. You got to prove your point. They, they can't make you move. Ba and, that, that, you, you basically hit the nail on the head there, I, yeah. I mean, because I feel I understand you now, okay? Now okay. You understand me, okay? But what I'm saying is, after that, if you're a good person, you know, after you proved your point, you move on. You don't just keep an egg in someone's face, right? Do you know what I'm trying to say to you? Okay, you were right, you won. There's no winners or losers here necessarily. Oh, well, yeah, there is. I mean, you proved your point, so you won, right? So then why would you continue to do it? It's, it's what I'm trying to find for you is that after you've proven your point and you were proven right, why continue to aggravate someone if you know it aggravates them? That's because I know you're a good guy. You've won. So what, what else would you continue to do it for? I want to see how the situation actually plays out. If these police talk to me, I want to see what they say. If someone wants to pull up next to me and... You're an intelligent guy. You know that they would have been talked to you by now. Well, I don't know. They're, they're talking to the reporting party right now. They, they, they might want to talk to me. They might not. You know. No. I mean, you obviously know study. You're an intelligent man. Thank you. You know it's an easement. You know that's a public road. And so you know that it's not private property on that side of the fence. Okay? So. But that doesn't mean they'll talk to me or they won't. Police, sometimes police talk to you. Sometimes they, I, I've had police come and talk to me and try to ID me. I've had police wave to me and simply say you're good. See, so. You know you have ID. You know you have no warrants. You know you're not drinking in public. Well, I'm not going to show them ID. I don't need to. Huh? I wouldn't show them ID. That's that's part of the test too. You're asking for trouble. Then why would you do that? I used to be. This, I used to think that way. I'm asking for trouble by not showing ID. If a police officer, if a police officer comes up to you and asks you for an ID, what's the harm in showing them ID? There's no harm in it. I just don't have to do it. There's no law that says I have to. I mean, but what if you look like a suspicious person, or they're looking for someone that's that's dressed like you and that did a crime or something? 
I mean, you want to... Well then, well, then they might have reasonable articulable suspicion. Yeah. That would be different. That's, that's all I'm saying. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, officer. How are you? I'm good. Officer McBride? Yeah. Badge me. number, please? 9374. 937. Name and badge yeah. number, please, sir? Officer Hammond, 9327. Hammond, 9237. Uh, good day to both you gentlemen. Yeah. So, how's it going? Not bad. Yeah. What's going on? David in public. What's that? Recording in public. Okay. So, I think you, I mean, you've already had a long conversation with them. And most and of I it guess, was pretty good, uh, yeah. th th thankfully. That's what I heard. Yeah. Um, I heard you're a pretty cordial person. So, um, so I guess the security guard, she was by herself. She just felt a little uncomfortable because she didn't know what was going on. Right? Okay. So that's why a couple more security guards, and then maybe they called us to see what's going on too. So okay. She just, you know, she felt uncomfortable. She was alone, right? So, cause, cause you do have it correct. Um, we're not here to tell you to go away or anything like that. Thank you. We're. We heard that we were trying. To, there was, he was trying to make a compromise with you or something like that. But I don't know how much footage you got and how much footage you're trying to get. But um, how long do you think you'll be around? I don't plan on sticking around okay. uh, very long. Um, well, before I go, uh, so my name again was Officer McBride. May I have your name? No, sir. I wish to remain anonymous. It's fine. All right. Okay. Anything they call you? you want uh, to tell me that? Uh, they, they call me Matthew. Matthew. All right, nice to meet you, Matthew. You're very, right, you're nice, safe, to, okay. nice to meet you as well. You be safe also. And uh, if you cross back over, just mm -hmm. watch out both ways. Right? Well, what's the appropriate place to cross? Up there by the light? I, would, I would I would best cross that way. Because that's where I crossed before. The only reason yeah. why I say is that yeah. the, there's a lot of sideshow activity sometimes out here. And oh, they yeah. drive pretty fast. So I just mm -hmm. don't want you to not get seen and maybe get hit, okay? Uh, thank you for that advice. Can I can I ask you a question, sir? Sure. Where I'm standing right now, is this public property or is this an easement through private property? I just want to um, see if I can get some clarification on that. Well, that's, see, that's something I'd have to talk to the property owner about. Okay. To find out myself. So, at this point in time, you're behind it. You're on the opposite side of a gate of property, right? So, right. Uh, but what is known to me is that the the Coast Guard has some type of rules and regulations with recording so if you decide to come back or anything like that it may be them that you may be contacting and they may have something to show you as okay. far as not being able to do that okay okay all right well we're gonna head out it's nice right. to meet you matthew nice to meet you all right you guys thank take you. care you too thank you appreciate you all right you guys have a good day Whew. That was a long one. All right, we're, my friend, or what, 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 I don't know what to call you, but it's, it's, it's good, good to talk to you. Good conversation. Yeah. I hope you have a good life. I have a good life. And, you know, freedoms of speech and freedom of the film is all, uh, we have a right to do it. And I respect you for what you do. If it's your test. I have to learn that some, that's what you choose to do and what I choose to do may be different, but it doesn't mean either one of us are right or wrong. So I respect you. Excellent point. I respect you as well. Um, again, I apologize when our conversation got a little bit heated. Yep. Um, so, I, 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 I honestly, you know, I, I, I felt like I was defending myself, but I, I, I'm sorry for calling you what I did. I, I, have, I have the right to call you what I want to call you, but I have no reason to believe that you are a bad person or an asshole or anything like that. So I'm say, sorry. Right back at you, sir. I, I had no reason to call you ignorant or an asshole or anything because you're obviously not just a person exercising your rights and I need to respect that so I'm sorry for anything I may have done to offend you. Uh, most appreciated. Right. So I'm glad this ended well you know uh, I, I hope this can be an example like you said uh, earlier in the conversation for 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 so many things in life you know we, we, we can disagree we can kind of you know bad heads a little bit but at the end of the day let's just try to move on and, and make the world a better place. That's right I'm with you sir and, and respect each other's difference of opinion. There you go. All right. All right. Have a great day. All right. Same to you, sir. All right. Take care now.